What's up, spectators? Welcome back to another episode of another Code R, right? Yeah, that, that's, that sounds about right. Uh, last time we were at the camp with Richard, and she gave him a tongue lashing about her loving music and him never being around. It was really depressing. And they switched gears. They started doing a little recap about the previous game and how he doesn't, he says he doesn't know everything about Psycho, her mother, and about the Another Project. So let's see what's going on. Today's the first time I've talked to Dad about Another since that day. The day we came back from Blood Edward Island. But all this time, Dad was thinking about Mom and Another. Oh, Ashley. I have something here to give you. What is it? Do you have a music player? You know, so you can listen to music wherever you go. I want one, but I can't afford it at the moment. I just spent all my allowance on a guitar. Well then, this is perfect. Wait there a second. All that wind, you know? Here. What is it? Oh, wow! It's the newest model. Wow, that is an old-ass model. I mean, this is, what, 2007, right? So this is when you still had to plug it into your computer and drag it into a folder. It was way easier, and then iPod came around, and they had their stupid iTunes. Ah! Stink. Stunk. It stunk. And now it's all streaming. Huh? This logo. Ooh, LST! This logo, I've seen it before. There was a wall, it had the logo on it. Mom was standing in front of it in a room. Tell him, tell your dad, right now. Ashley! Huh? Are you okay? You were just staring into space. Dad, what's the logo on this music player? That's the JC Valley logo. They gave out those music players as a gift on the anniversary of JC Valley's founding. Dad, I've seen this logo before. Really? Yeah, I remembered it when I looked at the music player. Mom was standing in front of a wall with that logo on it, and she was talking to someone. Ashley, are you serious? So, when you were with Sayako 13 years ago, you saw the JC Valley logo? Yeah. Ashley, wait a minute. I want to show you something else. What is it? Take a look at this. Do you remember anything when you look at it? Oh, the Wiimote? Oh yeah, I had a blast. Played Dokapon Kingdom with friends. I've never seen it before. Oh. What? Ah, so that's what TAS stands for, okay. Dad, something appeared on the display. What? I didn't do anything, it just turned on when I touched it. Dad, what is this thing? Wait a minute now. What in the world is going on? Why did it respond to you? Dad, what's going on? What is it? Did it turn on because I touched it? Yes, so it seems. It's responding to you. Where did it come from? Did you build this as well? That device is called a TAS. 
Yes, a TAS. The TAS, actually. It's the only one. Ashley, I found that device among your mother's research materials. Mom had this? Yes, she must have played a lot of Mario Party. JC Valley was founded by a man called Judd Fitzgerald. He was also the director of MJ Labs, the place where Psycho and I researched another. I knew that Judd had taken all of MJ Labs' research and materials to JC Valley. So I hunted through all of the research materials that were stored in JC Valley. And then I found Psycho's materials. And among all those materials was an envelope marked TAS, which had that device in it. Ashley, now I'm sure of it. You're sure of what? I'm sure Psycho created that device. Mom made this? Yes, there's no doubt about it. The TAS activated when it came into contact with you. Only Psycho could lock a device with your biometric data. Then, what does it do? I have no idea. I don't know why she made it. Wow, the, they really upped the amount of dialogue in this game compared to the last one? Like, a lot. Or what it's supposed to do. Mom made this, and only I could use it. So it seems. Hey, Dad. Do you mind if I hold on to this? What? Why? If I keep it with me, I might be able to remember more about Mom. I'm sure I will. Well, I'm not sure. Please? I want to have it, because Mom made it. Okay, Ashley, okay. But don't show it to anyone. Not a single person. If you promise me that, you can have it. I promise. The first thing I'm gonna go do is show it to Tommy. Tommy, look what I have! Aren't I cool? Oh, Ash, you're so cool. Yeah? Can I see your mother's pendant? Uh, sure. Here. Sayoko gave you this pendant right before she died, didn't she? Yeah, when she put me in the closet, she put this in my hand. She told me that I wouldn't be afraid if I just held it tightly. Can I borrow that pendant from you, just for today? Sure, I guess, but why? For the same reason you want to keep the TAS, your mother. I understand. Thanks. What the? Yeah, you said a few minutes. Oh, sorry, Ashley. That was my stomach. <laughs> so you were starving too? Well, that's quite the full body laugh. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, I haven't eaten all day. Right, let's fire up this barbecue. But what about the charcoal? I'll go and get some from the guest house. You wait here, okay? It's okay, I'll go. Are you sure? Trust me, I'll get it done quicker. Thanks, Ashley, you're an angel. Okay, I'll be back soon. Oh yeah, I have a music player now. I'll give it a listen. Right now, really? Okay. Right, let's give this thing a try. Shuffle it, baby. It won't turn on. What's wrong with it? Maybe there's no music on it? What's wrong with this? Maybe the batteries run out. I'll check the back of the music player. Okay. Ah, wee! Now to take the cover off. What? There's no battery in the music player. Wow, one double A or triple A? Could be a double A. Probably a double A. Come on, Dad. I wonder if I can find a battery somewhere. Let's have a look. Where? You want me to find it now? Really? There's a backpack. That's Dad's backpack. Large white bag. Well, no battery. 
Oh, oh, go! Oh, game, don't fail me now! Nope. Oh. So, we're going back to the guest house for charcoal, right? That's probably where I'm going. Let's see, this way. So far, so good. We're really picking up the pace. Make a left. All right. What was that? Was that a dog barking? Hmm, I can definitely hear something. Where's it coming from? I don't know, just find a battery somewhere. Where are we gonna find one though? There's the newspaper. I can check the desk. There's a card reader. There's a cordless phone. There's a pen stand. Rental form. It has a list of what you can rent and what the charges are. Oh, a laptop! It's a laptop. Cash register. Chair. And that appears to be everything. Let's go look at the, through the window. Maybe behind these blinds. Pull. What? There we go. Someone's there. Isn't that her teddy bear? Oh my god. Wait, what? Oh, photo. <gasps> Busted. That teddy bear is the same one that was in my bag. What's that kid doing with it? Time to kill someone. Let's go. Let's go back there. Okay. Use the badge. Where's the badge? Use. Let's try the ID card. Oh, great. This doesn't work. Damn. Okay. Let's go outside. I need to get my teddy bear back. Uh, but I can't go. What? But we can't go through the door. What do I do now? Exactly. What is it this time? Was that the TAS? What was it responding to? Oh, isn't this an interesting development? Use it. Ka! Wiimote powers activate! Is the TAS responding to this? A, B, up, one, plus! What's this? Oh my god. A, B, up. Um, well, you see, the control scheme is a little different, so when you tell- oh. Well, what's the plus symbol? Oh, the- oh my god, I can't believe they put a plus symbol. There we go, release complete. It's the- ah, oh, it's configured all weird. Ha! That sound! That must have been the door unlocking. You're damn right, let's go! It's unlocked! Open it! Yeah, open the door! God, Ashley, come on now! Nobody's here. Where'd that kid go? Maybe I should steal something. Maybe they're full of vegetables? Well, yeah. Ooh, a toolbox! There's a toolbox. Apparently I can't open it. There's a lot of stuff here. Pale blue plastic containers. 
cardboard boxes, it's possible to tell what's inside them. What's this post-it note? There's a note. Large three, medium two. It says kerosene and charcoal. There's a note. It is too blurred to read. No, it's not. Souvenirs, item color, size t-shirt, white free, size three, black free, size zero. Psh, see, this is the beauty of upping the resolution like crazy. Throw those pixels at this game. There's a note. Beef jerky and canned goods, the rest is too blurred to read. No, it says don't forget to check the list when you take out goods from the warehouse. What is wrong with you, woman? White something, impossible to tell what's in them. Some large bags? Look like they're filled with flour. There's an overturned cardboard box. Packets of beef jerky. Alright. Let's- oh. What? The door's open. He must have gone through there. That must be the dog from inside. Get him! There he is. That kid! He must have gone through the gap in the fence. Well, so can I. What? Hey, shoo! Scram! Oh, shoot! Wait, stop! I'm gonna take a picture just, just for fun. Alright. There's a big gap in the fence. Okay, I can get through here. But not with that big dog in the way. What now? Try feeding him these little beef things. There's some beef jerky on the ground. Is this what the dog's after? Well, why don't you grab it? Grab it. Why well, I don't know what you expect me to do here. He obviously wants the beef jerky. What can I do with this? No, that's not gonna work. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, that was really hard to click the dog. I don't know why. It's on the ground, so I might as, uh, may as well use it. Okay, finally. All right. Grab it. Oh. Okay. Oh, hey, boy. Oh, there's, there's a hole over there on the right. Yeah. Let's go! Go, go, go! He moved out of the way. Now I can get through. Get in there. Hey! Uh-oh. It's Tommy. He thinks I stole something. Ashley, what the heck are you doing? Uh... I was moving that dog so I can get through the fence. Dog? Yeah, it's just over there. Over where? Ashley, I'm not seeing any dog. It's gone. I swear there was a dog on the other side of the fence. Whatever. More to the point. How'd you get into the storeroom? Uh... You can't get here without going through the storeroom. And I always lock up when I'm out. So spill it. How'd you unlock the door? It was already open. Come on, give me a break. I know I locked up. I swear it was open. My dad sent me to get some charcoal and there was no one in the shop. Then I heard... Let me guess. You heard a weird noise from the storeroom. Exactly. I swear there really was a weird noise. So I went in to check it out. And there was stuff all over the floor. The back door was open. I don't know if I believe you. Someone's been eating food from our stores too. That wasn't you, was it? I just got here, Tommy, you big idiot. No way. I wouldn't do something like that. Then who did? Someone had to. It was that kid who ran through the gap in the fence. The kid? And just where is he now? I'm not sure. Look, Ashley, if it wasn't you who stole the stuff, prove it. Okay. 
I'll show you proof. Where's that photograph? I have a photo to prove it. A photo? All right, show me. What is going on here? Oh, mother of God, don't tell me you froze. Okay, so that, that issue was game breaking. Not only did it completely freeze and crash, it also ruined save states, and I had to replay the game almost from the beginning. So that was exciting. Oh, emulators always have a great learning curve. But there is good news that came out of this. Uh, there was an option I found. Apparently the emulator, it might only be using one of my computer cores, but I have 12 of them, so now it's using all of them. So it's running so smooth. And remember it was sort of stuttering during certain cutscenes and anytime you're given a choice, that's all gone. It's all smooth. So, hey, learning experience. Okay, so this is back to the picture menu. Gotta show them the evidence. Let's go. Take a look at this. Look at it. Smell it. What is it? A picture of that kid in your storeroom. Uh-huh. Looks like you weren't the only one in the storeroom then. That's what I said, idiot! Okay, the photo convinced me. You weren't the one who messed up the stores. That's so weird because for you guys, it's just like two seconds passed since presenting. But for me, I had to replay the whole game. Oh, this took forever. Uh, whew, that's a relief. Well, at least you know I didn't do it. Yeah, my bad. Sorry for being harsh, but you understand why, right? No problem. I'm just glad it was sorted out. I wonder how that kid got into our storeroom, though. The back door should have been locked. Good question. It's a card lock, just like the other door. Like the campsite gate? Well, kinda. The lock is a bit different. The card I gave you wouldn't open the door. Oh, I see. Oh yeah, you came here for charcoal, right? Right, I almost forgot. My dad was trying to set up the barbecue and forgot the charcoal. Typical. All right, I'll, glad, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll grab some for you. Wait out by the counter, okay? I found the battery, by the way. The battery for my MP3 player. It was on the desk right next to Richard. I put it in and you can, you can listen to different songs from the soundtrack, so that's all it really is. There you are. Ooh, look at my cool man pose. <laughs> Sorry, I took so long. Here's your charcoal, Ash. Thanks. Have fun with your dad. Thanks. Good luck in here. Luck? Yeah, I'll try not to die of boredom. Seriously though, gotta make sure the door's locked for sure next time. Can't have someone messing up the storeroom again. That wouldn't be cool. For sure. I think I'll stop heading off for walks too, and actually look after the place. Not just because of the store's business, but since that villa burned down, I don't want this place to be next on their list. Right. The ranger said that there were suspicious people around who might have started the fire. Oi. Oi, what's going on here? Hey. Hey, don't you go freezing on me now! We've been through too much! Messing around in the woods in the middle of the night. Scaring the crap out of me. If it turns out it was them, I'll be more than a little ticked off. Thanks to them, that villa got burned down. I really like that villa. You liked it? Yeah, it was pretty old, but it had a nice atmosphere about it, you know? It was my favorite thing about this place. Oh, that's a shame. I wish I'd been able to see it. Got a photo right here. Want to see it? Yeah! Here you go! Had a red roof on it. Great place. Gotta dig that red roof. Wait! Awful oh, memory flashback! Oh, no!
Some scary ass music, man. This place. I've seen it before. The villa where the fire was. Mom was there. What's up? Huh? Are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for showing me the photo. Alright, I think now is a great time to end this episode. So stay tuned for the next one. Hopefully we can have as little technical difficulties as usual. God, it's, man, I emulators. Alright, well, thanks for watching, and bye bye